Eva, how much are you looking forward to Saturday's game against West Brom? Oh, very much. It's one of the one of the shown to be one of the best team in this league now, so that's something to look forward for. It's a massive game for us, and that was something to look forward for, definitely. And we've done better away from home so far this season, but, yeah. but it's still a difficult game as well, isn't it? Yeah, it is a difficult game. Like I said, they, they are a very good team. They obviously came down and they have started very very well, even if some of the results recently haven't maybe not been as, as good as they wanted, but but then they're a very good team, and, and probably especially at, at home as well. But this is just this kind of league, you know, these are the teams you have to play in, uh, one of those very good teams in this league you have to play in, and to play well, then you have a good chance. How has the mood been here since our last game against Middlesbrough? I have to say it was maybe a little bit too long time uh, after a, after a loss. Uh, but saying that as well, half of the team was away on international, so they didn't have too much time to think about it. They had their international to prepare for. Uh, here it was obviously a little bit difficult for the first few days, but then you gotta put it, you know, you know, out of your system and, and just prepare for the next game. Have you done much analysis of what happened in that match? No, it hasn't been a lot. I think it's quite easy to analyse. You know, in the game before against Preston, I think uh, probably nine, ten of us had a very good game. <laughs> and against Middlesbrough, I think maybe one, two had a good game. I thought, thought Fetty Ricci was very, very good. And then uh, probably if you will ask the rest of us, you know, how did you play, then we'll probably say we were, we were playing below pair. And this Saturday you might come up against Simon Cox, a former teammate of yours. Yeah, there are former teammates of Reading seems to be everywhere now. Uh, yeah, he has done very well. He, you know, very happy for him. He obviously didn't maybe get the chance here, but he moved on and, and just you know showed how good footballer he is. And it just also show it, even if you don't get the chance at one place, it doesn't mean that you are that you are finished. And he absolutely has shown that. And for you, it, it's compliment to you that you've been able to play so many games back to back, a long spell out, and then you've come in and, and played every minutes. Yeah, it was uh, a little bit strange after being out like I think eight and a half months to have suddenly three games in eight days. I don't maybe say it was ideal, but you know it worked out okay, and I, I felt fine, uh, fine for it, and and uh, hopefully it will just get better and better for me as well. Do you feel better having not played last weekend? Was, did that come as a good time to you? No, not really, because uh, you know you, then you would have had a week anyway to recover. Uh, but what what I meant was maybe three three games in eight days wasn't ideal. But that's the way it is, and we're going to have that again now. But having gone through the last three games, then I should be better prepared for this week. Thank you, Eva. You, Thank you. You'd probably be uh, underdogs, I would imagine, Eva on Saturday, you know, fair to say. Yeah, probably fair to say. If you just if you look at the league, then we are underdog against the most team. If you look at it that way, and, and, and that's the situation as it is. But uh, against them, yes, probably are. And, but that can be a good thing, you know. Probably most people say we don't have any chance or whatever. So in that way, that probably takes the pressure off us, and, mm. and hopefully we can just go up there and, and play our football, enjoy it, and get get results. A bit like. Uh uh, the uh, the Preston game, in a sense, I suppose. Yeah, maybe. I don't think probably lots of people thought we were going to get results there, but mm. we did. And uh, the good thing uh, with that Preston game is that we know we can get results yeah. against these teams. And going to West Brom, then we have that in the back of our mind. Well, uh, I mean, the key to Preston was it was working hard and taking your chances I suppose is it was that the I think we were, I think when we say working hard I think it always uh, sounds to me like that players are not working hard and we true. lose yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think we were working hard but we were not maybe clever enough and we were not mm. organized enough and uh, too many of us didn't have a you know because you're obviously referring to our last game too many mm. of us did just not have a, a good game mm. and uh, that's the reason why we lost uh, but if we go up to the West Brom we are organized we play together and and you know, nine, eight, seven, eight, nine, ten out of eleven have a good game. Then, then we have a good chance. Mm, that's great. Ne next game in the day skis in front of the TV cameras. Does that add more excitement to it for the players, or is it just business as usual? I think it's just a normal thing. I, d I, I don't uh, think that's going to make a make a big difference. Uh, they moved the game to Monte, Monday, wasn't it? Yeah. Mm. Uh, no, I don't think it will make any difference. Uh, so that shouldn't shouldn't play on our mind. I think. And you got keep your eye on Tuesday night as well. Obviously, that's another big game. You know they're starting to pick up results now as well. I uh, know they are all big games, aren't they? So uh, yeah, both of those teams are are good teams and and potentially potentially could be playing in the in the Premiership if you look at their history or whatever and what they have done. Uh, there are so many teams like that in this league and and they are all uh, striving to to get into the Premier League and and those two are definitely you know amongst them.
Someone like yourself, do you enjoy playing in the colder weather? I guess you're a little bit more used to it, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this isn't so cold really. No, <laughs> no I, this is just part of England, you know, yeah. I've been here like 10 years now, so I know, know when this time comes, then you can expect whatever. And I think most, most people here know that. But, uh, but uh, traditionally though, quite few teams have, uh, especially when it comes to uh, November, December, have struggled. Mm. So. Uh, Maybe hopefully for us we can take out once of that and maybe climb up the table. Has anybody had the gloves and the hats on yet in training? I'll probably be one of the first anyway to do it. So no, I don't think yet. But I'm sure there will be sure there will be few of them. Few of the Malians will, <laughs> will come well dressed. Surely Jimmy Kerr will be No, no. But you know this is just part of it, and, yeah. and this is no problem when you're out there, finish your warm up, then then you don't feel it that much.